How do you manage all those hundreds of people as a com- as the commander? I believe you say commander. Um, how do you manage all those hundreds of people and, and the personnel? And what does that teach you about leadership? It teach you teach you a lot about leadership because basically it's all about people. Yeah. You know, if if you try to be too nem- demanding from above, I mean, what I mean by manning, what we call uh, nitnoy. You're so you're telling them, I want you to go to A to B to C to D, and you and you ignore people on their initiatives that they could possibly help you do it more effectively. Right. So you need to set what's the goal? What do we need to accomplish? Like how many airplanes a day do we need to service and get through here in December? How do we package lunches for 90,000 army troops? Because the kitchens work for me on the base. Because the army didn't come with kitchens. You know, how do you do this flow? And what I did, I had five colonels that worked for me. Not in the, You understand, I retired as a colonel. So I have colonels working for me. And they had large segments that they were directly responsible for. Then they had commanders below them that had smaller sections. So communications was at a premium so that we all, everybody understood what needed to be done, but it wasn't me going down and doing that specific thing. They knew the part that was their responsibility and that they knew that if they had a problem, my door, my ears were always open to try to overcome whatever problem they had if they couldn't if they couldn't deal with it. Okay, so when those problems did arise, when you had to come into contact with conflict, how how did you best problem solve those conflicts and communicate them? It depended on, was this a conflict in our own organization where two people had very different ideas and I would be the, I could be the mediator to come with a compromise or I could be the decision maker and say, okay, we're gonna do it that way. If it was something external to us, then it was up to me. Like, I'll tell you, um, this Army two-star, or was he a three-star? Anyway, he was clearly outranked me by quite a bit. He wanted to bring his soldiers and set up a camp at Ramstein Air Base. And I said, respectfully, sir, no, I will not permit it. And he says, Colonel, you can't do that. I said, yes, sir, I can. Because... Your people are going down into combat. You need to keep them on your base and with their families as long as you can. I do not want to see any soldier on this base until it's within four hours of when they're going to get on an airplane. We are not going to run. (laughs) And he said, that is unacceptable. So what did I do? I picked up the phone. I called the four-star commander for the Air Forces in Europe. And I said, sir, I have a problem. This is what the army wants to do. And he goes, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, they got it in their mind. They want to set up. He said, they're not. He said, don't worry, Buzz. I'll take care of it. So that was an example of how the problem went away. (laughs) You uh, you got a four star to overrule the two or three star. So that's uh, exactly right. But uh, you know what's interesting? You took that risk because maybe maybe their four star he he wouldn't have agreed maybe but you were were confident and assertive enough where you weren't going to back down just in the face of someone with a higher authority to you well in some ways you know what your responsibility yeah. that we were preparing for a war yeah if i had to put my if my career at risk, then so be it. I was going to put my career. I knew what needed to be done. Right. And that's what I've always been outspoken. I mean, not, I don't attack people, but I, I don't shy away from saying, you know, I think there might be a better way or, or do we really want to do the, do this uh, and let the cards fall where they may. Um, that's kind of when they make you a leader, Many times the decisions aren't easy, and the decisions you render, you can be held accountable accountable for at some future time or almost immediately. Have 